Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. I'm glad you're here, and if you're a returning visitor, please consider subscribing. Don't make yourself a visitor anymore. You're friends with me, right? Uh, when you do subscribe, make sure that you hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. So with that said, let's get into this video. So what are the keys to the game as far as Washington being able to beat Dallas? Well, you know, right now, da Prescott, he is out, but, you know, right now, uh, Cooper Crush, Cooper Crush, Cooper Rush, is, he's crushing, right? Cooper Rush is, is really playing pretty good football, and right now I think he's like 3-0 as a starter. So, uh, yeah, it, it's time for him to lose, certainly. But, uh, you know, Dallas is playing pretty decent football, and the thing is they're at least playing football that is winning football for them. And, you know, they're not doing anything extraordinary, but they're playing really good defense, and I think that's the key right there right now for the Cowboys is that they're playing really good defense, and they're making the big plays when they need a big play. And so for Washington, I think the keys to the game as far as winning, I'm going to kind of repeat a little bit of what I said last week against Philadelphia. As far as the offense goes, they need to have a little bit more of a three-step drop back for Carson Wentz and getting the ball out on timing passes. Um, I think that there's there's pa there's certainly pass plays that are a little bit too long in development. I think they're relying a lot too much on that on the seven step dropbacks. And the problem is is that the offensive line is beat up and battered and inexperienced as it is. It's just not holding up for Carson Wentz right now. So I think in order to get some more, um, you know, to get the pressure off of the offensive line, and in order to get a little bit more confidence for Carson Wentz, I think he needs some uh, some easy completions to his tight ends. He needs, needs to get his tight ends involved in the game plan. Uh, Logan Thomas needs to become a factor in this game. Um, they definitely need to get the running game going. I definitely feel like, you know, maybe you got to do a little bit of um, – uh, I don't know, some some reverse type of plays, um, maybe some gadget plays to get things going, but they definitely have to control that line of scrimmage. That is the key to any game, honestly, but in this game, if Washington expects to win, they're going to have to control the line of scrimmage. They're going to have to really get some, some momentum builders for Carson Wentz in, in terms of shorter passes and not rely so much on uh, the medium to to deep passes and I think as well certainly to get that um, that rushing going they need to get some good running going for Carson Wentz and finally they need to control the football they need to keep the Dallas Cowboys offense off the field they need to wear that defense down and I think they need to stay away from Micah Parsons that's a big thing if you can stay away misdirection from Micah Parsons uh, maybe you do some rollouts uh, some reverse rollouts you know you just need to get Carson out of that pocket you need to give him some clear throwing lanes but you also need to stay away from Micah Parsons eventually he's going to get his but you need to just cut down on the opportunities for him to feed because he is going to feed. There's no question about that. I think on the defensive side of the ball, I really think the defense did a really good job last week. They just need to build upon that. Uh, the defensive line, they really did a good job of shutting down the run. They need to continue to shut down that run to make things one-dimensional, uh, to take um, Ezekiel Elliott out of the football game and to rely more on – um, you know, putting the game in the hands of, of Cooper and seeing what he can do. Um, you know, we know that Dak Prescott can beat you. Let's see what Car uh, let's see what uh, Cooper can do to you. Can he beat you? And so I think that's what you have to do. You're going to have to put some pressure on him as well, and I think they can get some pressure on him. Um, I haven't really had a chance to watch a lot of Dallas games, so I don't know how quickly that uh, Cooper Rush is able to get the ball out of his hands, but that's going to be certainly a factor um, is how fast does Cooper Rush get the ball out of his hands. If he tends to hold on to the ball a little bit longer, it's going to have some opportunities for some sacks for Montez Sweat, Jonathan Allen, maybe even Deron Payne, um, you know, and certainly um, uh, Smith Williams on the other side. So let's let's see what happens with that. Um, 
you know, the secondary I thought played really well. I would keep the secondary like it is. Honestly, I don't want William Jackson the third on the field at all. But I, I don't know. He's probably going to be back. But I, I really, I really liked uh, Benjamin St. Juice out there on on the uh, edge there. I really felt that he did a really good job, especially in man coverage. So um, honestly, I would I would kind of stick to that. Um, it seems like it was working pretty well. So um, let's see what happens. Uh, but the defense played well. If they can kind of continue to have a repeat performance like they did last week, and the offense just needs to do what I told them to do last week, which was to control the football, to control the time on, on the field, and to keep the Dallas's offense off the field, I think that I think that the Commanders might have a shot with this, but it's going to be a close game. You know, I would say this is a must-win game for Washington. If they lose this game, I really think they are sunk. I mean, you're at 1-3, and three, you're 0-2 in the division. Things are not looking good for Ron Rivera whatsoever. A win, well, now you're 1-1 one one in the division, you're 2-2, two and two, you're at 500. Things are dramatically okay. At that point, you're like, okay, we're okay. We're not, we're not bad. We, we can handle this. We, we, you know, we had a big win against the division foe. We're okay. Um, but there's a lot riding on this game. So this is a must-win game. Do I think that the commander is going to win this game? I think they have a good shot. I really do. It is in Dallas. I realize that. But guess what? Home field advantage has not been that kind for Washington anyway. So honestly, I don't think that really matters at this point for the commanders. I think they can win just as easily on the road as they can at home. So I'm going to give this game to the commanders, but I think it's going to be a low scoring game. I think it's going to be 20 to 17. And it's probably going to have the commanders having to come back in the fourth quarter to win. Uh, but that's going to be my predictions for this game. It's going to be my keys for this game. Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below what you think about the game. Um, if you like this video, please like it share it, give me a comment. Um, again, if you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. And again, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I come out with new videos for you. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. I will see you in the next one. Let's go, Commanders. Let's go, Maniacs.